Hey, what's up, everybody? This has been it's a Wednesday night, and it's whatever Wednesday. And my oh, my phone's upside down. And we got Tracy tonight. What's up, Tracy? Hi. How you doing tonight? Hi. Hi, babe. I meant. I'm sorry if I don't call her babe. I get fired. <laughs> uh, no, tonight we're going to be talking about the unexplained situations. So he here's the thing: is that this is something that we haven't talked about in a while. Um, is that some people either believe in um, miracles, they believe in um, things that happen bump in the night. Mm -hmm. um, do things really go bump in the night? Do you really ever hear things bumping yeah. in the night? Maybe miracles okay. or nightmares or dreams. Or, or yeah, or, or, or ghosts. So, or angels. But before we get started... I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, who is. Maybe I need a light. It's too dark, buddy, babe. Well, too bad. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Pure West, located right here in Holland. They are uh, right in the old Burger King building, right over by Lowe's, Art Loves, excuse me, off of Adam Street. They're located at 9730 Adam Street. Uh, you can also On give the them. Right a... side of the road. Yep. You can give them a call at 616-772-6490. Again, that number is 616... What in the world is going on here? Okay, here it is. Excuse me, 9420. I'm sorry, I messed that number up. 616-772-9420. That is their office number. Go ahead and get a hold of them if you need any, any information about what they do. Or if you are interested in purchasing from them, just get a hold of them. Get a hold of the owner, Chris Bomber, Bomber Martinez. Thanks for being our sponsor. And so let's get on with the show. So, again, we are going to be talking about unexplained. Uh, unexplained things. And I actually found some stuff from here in Michigan. Yes. Um, which is pretty cool because, I mean, who else does stuff how like that? often do you how often do you hear stories from our state mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and go with trace oh let's go oh hold on let me go to this map that i or not map it's not even a map mm -hmm. this, i mean this page. website that where is my mouse oh there it is so i found it it's called urban legends to tell around the campfire about here in michigan because it's off of their off of michigan's mm -hmm. website so Here's a story um, that, I mean, I guess they're having fun. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Some guy's sick, like playing a fun. guitar. Um, let me go I'll go ahead and put that on camera. So somebody's playing a guitar. Some kid's jumping out of a, 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 a tent. tent. He probably got scared because he heard a ghost story. Who knows what's going on? And who's texting okay. me? Quit texting. I'm doing a show. He's like, I haven't even touched the paint yet. Oh, my gosh, Brandon. <laughs> okay. I'll get there soon. Uh, so, <clears throat> so anyway, so here's a story of a man named Brady. <laughs> I mean, Wasn't that the Brady bunch? Brady? Never mind, baby. Oh, okay. So anyway, since Brandon's texting us, I'm going to throw him under the bridge. He hasn't painted anything yet. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Anyways, so apparently there's, uh, I mean, I've heard of, I mean, you've heard of like shipwrecks and, oh, you know, uh, things place. of like ghost stories of, you know, in different places of Michigan. Uh, but here's one that I didn't know about. I guess it's called the Singing Sands of Betty, Betty Grease or Grace? I don't know. Betty Grace. Yeah. So apparently there's um, this beach, I guess some of you are here in Michigan, that it talks about, um, it says on the south side of the Keweenaw Peninsula is a beautiful beach that contains more than more than meets the eye. So, okay. Okay. Cool. So, oh, hold on. I got to put my. I gotta put the show over here. What am I doing? I, I apologize, everybody. I apologize. Let me go ahead and look at my. Uh, well, here's one that I. Uh, there I am repeating it. Anyway, so um, 
yeah, definitely um, something to look forward. Oh, I got to get something here. Anyway, so it's talking about the there's a legend that there's a Native American woman who, I guess, lost her love on Lake, you know, to Lake Superior. And because she spent the rest of her life on the beach crying and calling out to him, the white sand still calls to him to this day. Okay, so let's go on with that story. Wow. So it says you can awaken her voice by making the sand sing with the palm of your hand, by patting or brushing the surface. Oh. Hold on. I need to take a drink of water. Get him. Says how? Oh wait. Oh yeah. So, patting or brushing the surface. Uh, that's the only time it works, I guess. I don't. Know. Really? Uh, it says, however, it only works if you're on the beach. Oh. At that particular beach, not anywhere else in the area because it won't work because that's where she was, I guess. And uh, take the sand anywhere else, and it loses its voice. Dang. That's weird. What do you think about that? That I think that would be interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the lights on because we can't see. Yeah. Alexa, turn on show lights. There she is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a vampire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us, what do you think about that, babe? I think that would be cool to check out if we had the chance. Okay. I'm just curious. It's in the Upper Peninsula, I guess. I don't know where. Where is the Keenau, Keenau, whatever it's called? It's up north. Is it? It's, I think it's, uh, if it's Upper Peninsula, there's more Native American names up there, I think. Oh, I have no idea where that is. Because apparently it's over there and people have been there and done all that. So, yeah. um, so who believes in, m you know, miracles and things like that? Yeah. Do you? I, yeah. I believe miracles happen tell every what, day. I mean, yeah. I, I'll I tell believe, you. Okay. I, believe they were. I oh, got well, a miracle. I could tell you. I, my mom and dad said I was a miracle as a baby. Um. My mom, Tell us that story, baby. My mom and I were downtown Kalamazoo, Michigan. Mm -hmm. I was a baby. She had me in the back seat, in the car seat. Okay. There was a tornado. A coming. tornado? <laughs> a, a tornado that was coming through downtown Kalamazoo. My mom got out of the car real quick and was banging on the window. Uh, There's people mm -hmm. on the other side of the window. Interesting. The building. She kept pounding, but no one would come to her rescue. So she jumped into the back seat of the car. She got me out of the car seat and she put me down on the floor and she um, covered me with her body mm. to protect me. And when she looked up at the back window, there's a big tree that was uprooted coming our way. It looked like it's going to come through the car. Mm -hmm. But she, she closed her eyes and then opened back up and it, something moved it. And the tree went just past the car. Past you guys? Wow. Somebody moved the tree. That's crazy. I think it was an angel that moved the tree. Hmm. That is interesting. I never told you I, that, did I? I think you did, but I don't okay. remember that story. Okay. I mean, I kind of remember a little bit, but that is a good one. That's a good good way to look at it because had that tr had you not paid attention, had your mom was not paying attention, we could have. That would have got hit. Yeah, yeah. you guys would have definitely got hit by that. Yeah. All right. So that's a crazy story. Um, so we got, um, you know, you get shipwrecks and things like that. Right. But I don't know where Torch Lake is. Um, Torch Lake. Torch Lake. I don't know. Do you know where that is? Have no. you ever heard? I never heard Let's of go it. ahead and look that up. Yeah. Let's see where Torch Lake is. Let's see what side. Is it on the other side of Michigan? Oh, it's a city in Michigan. <clears throat> oh, it's somewhere. Central, uh, it's like, oh, it's northeast of Traverse City. Northeast of Traverse City. All right, so it's northeast of Traverse City. Um, I think that I've never been there. <laughs> I, I haven't been okay, there. Okay, so let's look at there. Let's look at that story. This, <clears throat> excuse me, Torch Lake Monster. Ooh, let's see. With all this bizarre... <laughs> we do. We rind... With all this talk about bizarre things on there, on or in the water, it makes you, it makes you wonder, what else might be going, might be down there. I always wonder that about water. Like what's at the bottom? Even if of it's the a lake? creek, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Not a creek, but like 
people have claimed like this, that. that there's like there's saltwater sharks and mm -hmm. there's just water sharks. Yeah, that's true. Because I know, like I, like even Lake Michigan, for for example, I what always they, wonder, like, if there were any sharks. If there's, I've read online that there's some bull sharks, I guess, well, okay. have been spotted, but I don't know if it's true. Uh, but I always wondered about, um, you know, you go swimming in Lake Michigan and you're like, okay, well, what else is down there? And so, yeah, what else? Well, like any sunken ships? Yeah, exactly. Sunken boats. So I always wondered that as well. Hi, James, Thomas, or good evening. What up, James? What's happening? What's going on, man? Thanks for joining the show tonight. I know uh, we don't have anybody here tonight because, well, it's whatever Wednesday and we're talking about kookaways. And, uh, <laughs> well, not really that, just that, but. Miracles. We are, uh, yeah, we're talking about anything. I'm, yeah, exactly, because I, good good thinking, Xavier, that's I a good think one. think the same way. Yeah, because I always think, like, when you're, like, in Lake Michigan, you always think, like, What's down there like? I know what you know, kind your, of boats your, have sunken. Exactly. Well, not only that, like and treasure. Is there sharks here? Is there? Yeah, but is there treasure in the lake? That um, yeah. I read too that there's actually a um, sunken ship. I think it's off the coast of Grand Haven. Okay. Um, somewhere in that area between Grand Haven and Muskegon, and uh, I think people have gone over there and looked, but I'm not sure and, if it's yeah. true. Or not. Oh. But, um, well, yeah, about, whoever's texting me on the group chat, about sharks, text it somewhere else because I your think comment. there's such thing as um, freshwater sharks that's what they're called, right? Freshwater sharks. Well, I read bull sharks can live in freshwater and, and salt saltwater. Water. Okay, let's pull up a picture of a bull Hold shark. Hold on, because I gotta do something. Real quick. Well, you can do that. I gotta mute this group for an hour because I'm doing the show on it, I can't. Do the show when they're commenting each other. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, and that's you know what? Let's look that up. Is there what's it called? Bull sharks? Or wait, what are you what are you talking about? Are there bull my... sharks oh. in Michigan, Lake Michigan? It's so okay. Um, no, bull sharks do not live in the Great Lakes at all. They would have a very long journey on the St. Lawrence River to get to the Great Lakes. Even if they did, they would not survive the cold water, frozen ice in the winters. Oh, well, I guess, where did I read? Maybe it wasn't bullshit that I read about. So Thanks, Jason, for making me sound like an idiot. No, <laughs> no, I, no, I guess there, there's some type of shark that has been spotted. Oh, you know, James has a comment. Uh, well, let's share a video of Malik. I've seen him on his new Ninja 600 Sweet What? Two oh. commercial planes. Okay, but it, well, share it, because I don't know where. Hold on, James. I'm going to have to get to that screen. Uh, hold on, James, because that screen's on another screen. Let's see. See you tonight at 8.30. I don't know. Hold on, because this was post. Oh, Let me rewind that real quick, James. But I guess James is saying this is... Hold on, babe. Oh. James is saying this is uh, Malik on a motorbike. Malik. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, just they keep showing the same. <laughs> All right, so that apparently James said that was Malik. Okay. So um, definitely yeah. Okay. Oh, so we got uh, Marcos commenting. What up, Marcos? Oh, Marcos said uh, that like Michigan was known as the. I was going to get to that, babe. Thanks for thanks. Okay. Oh, that's your job anyway. So you do it. you don't um, you go right ahead, babe. Triangle. And then Xavier says, every time that I go to Mackinac Island, we stayed in a cabin on on the lake. We have campfires at nighttime, and I enjoy watching the boats cross the lake. 
You know what? I'm going to be honest. I've never been to Mackinac Island. Me neither. Not yet. We should plan to go. I don't want to. It's too far. (laughs) I think it's like an eight hour drive. Up north? I saw them like that. Yeah. Xavier, how far did it get you up there? Or <laughs> how, how far did it, how far did it take to get up there? He's like, I speak English. He's probably like, wait, what did you just say? Like, speak English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Xavier. Um... <laughs> I told Oh, uh, hold on a minute. Where's my, where's my thing? Uh, where's that thing that I just did? You had what? Ray Valdez, if you're watching, I have your photos ready. Um, so yeah, I think um, that's one spot I've never been. I've, I mean, I've I've crossed the bridge. Yeah, I've been on the Mackinac bridge, bridge but I've never been to actually Mackinac Island. Is it how many miles long is the bridge? I think it's five, five and a half or something like that. Five miles. Let's look that up, babe. Let's learn something new today. Right. Let's make each other look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how long is Mackinac Bridge? Oh, there it is. Okay, it doesn't show how many miles. Oh, I was right, roughly five miles. I won. I won. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it, it, it. Oh, it wasn't eight hours. Oh, I thought it was something like that. Is I think like a, I think at least hours? to get to to the bridge, it's probably like six hours because. But Marcos, you're you're true, or you're you're true. Please, please. You're right about the uh, about eight hours. um, the Triangle thing because I've heard that before too. About in Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. Yeah. Yep. Lake Michigan is. Some boats have gone missing, right? Yeah, because there's been a lot of crashes, a lot of uh, things that have sank in Lake Michigan. There's there's all kinds of stuff like that. Like Dang. there was a picture, and I wish I could find it. Oh wait, no, that was that wasn't a picture. It was a video on the show, paranormal caught on camera. Right. That there was a guy that was filming in Lake Superior facing north. Uh-huh. Of course, because you can't face south unless you're in Canada. But um, he was filming something, but then he noticed something in the far distance yeah. that there was a. Uh, Something. It looked, it looked like a floating, like a boat. I mean, like a big ship. Oh, okay. But you could see through it. What? Yeah, he said you could still see this horizon going through it. And mm-hmm. so I was like, oh, that's creepy because... Was that a real ship or no? I don't know. That's what they were... They couldn't explain it. Even the people on the show were like, yeah, we. I don't know what that is. We could see the sunrise through it or sunset? You don't get a sunset up there because it's facing north. Oh, okay. Sounds... I mean, you could if you're facing the other way, obviously. But um, but I think, like, uh, a lot of people that believe in stuff like that probably will understand what it is and right. go off of their, you know, what they think and what's going on. Oh, nobody's over there. Uh, so we got Tracy in the house. Tracy, mm-hmm. tell, us, tell us what your thoughts are about. Do you believe mm-hmm. in if the Bermuda Triangle could be real? The Bermuda Triangle? I mean, not the, the one in Michigan. Well, yeah, I I think I would believe it because um, it's it's a big body of water outside of the seas and oceans, you know, mm-hmm. and and mysterious things happen around the world. Mm-hmm. Why not here in Lake Michigan? You know, and I always think that. Go ahead and push one of those buttons because Marcos isn't here. Well, not that one. <laughs> we weren't clapping because you weren't here. I, I don't know why I did that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so anyway, oops, I pushed the wrong button. Sorry, I set this thing. I set this thing to uh, to change the screens by by themselves, and now I can't get it to stop. So I have to keep pushing. I'll fix it later. Anyway, so. Uh, um I, oh let's go with another story from michigan How about, uh, let's um, see oh here's one that i've actually i've never seen this but i have you've heard of this it? is another one that was on paranormal caught on camera okay now apparently there's a place up north 
called Paulding, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And there's a thing called the Paulding Light, okay. which is apparently, it looks like a train going down track, but you can never reach it. Like it never, it never continues. Yeah. And okay, let's, let's go ahead and read it about that story. So it says another inexplainable. Oh, I don't know what that word is. Light shines in Paulding, a town near Sleepy Hollow, on the west edge of the Upper Peninsula. And this is another thing. This is what's weird: is heavy woods, a lot of woods, in that location. So it's like, okay, what what is that? You know. Mm -hmm. So it says heavy woods surround the area and stretch northbound of Old US 45, ends abruptly at a sign from US from the US Forestry Service. This location, this is the location from which the famous Paulding Light can be observed. It reads, legend explains its presence as a railroad brakeman's ghost uh -huh. destined to remain forever at the site of his untimely death. Power lines in the old service, service road cut straight through the trees as far back as the hills will let you see. And it's in this clearing that sightings of the Paulding Light have happened almost nightly since 1966. That's before our time. Uh, no, you were born in 62. No, 78. <laughs> Some explain the light with different ghost stories, of course. And it's kind of like, while others can contend it's swamp gas or car headlights. Until you see for yourself, there's no way to be sure. Okay. Now, again, this was this show, or this story was on um paranormal caught on camera go ahead and look it up um it's kind of crazy i mean because some footage that people had yeah like there was a group of people that went out there to find it and, and they found it it happened to them wow it's on video they got it on video and everything um of course like i said it's in the upper peninsula and that's not nowhere's where i plan to go <laughs> you know what's not, I, well because uh, I saw on TV one time, uh, off on some beach, mm -hmm. I don't know what part of our country or what country it was from, but they had what looked like a skeleton of a merman or mermaid. I have seen that. Um, I think it was, uh, excuse me, it was just, it was weird. Because it, it had true, arms. What? It had arms. Yes, like people, and then they like had humans. a fish tail. Like yeah. A fish tail. But the only thing, the only thing that I can think that that could have been was, um, like a Halloween decoration. I wonder because, like, you hear, you hear of uh, the Loch Ness monster or mermaids yeah, exactly. or mer people, yeah. and the oceans are so deep and wide. There's still lots of things we haven't discovered yet. There's. There's, you know, and that's the thing is like a lot of people and a lot of things have happened throughout the years and you really, you do, you don't, you have no, it's very, you can't explain it because. Yeah, it's unexplained. Yeah, you can't, just like you said, this world has so many things that we don't know yet, things that we haven't even found yet, things that are yeah. appear, appearing yeah. and. It's the Upper Peninsula has so many ghost stories. Oh, oh, man, I'm, I'm sure they do. There's a lot. See, and that's the thing, too, is, like, there's a lot of ghost towns up there because nobody cares. Because no kidding, people I'm kidding. are moving out. Michigan, Upper Peninsula is a very beautiful place. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of, it's a, more forest than anything. There's actually a place up there that is a park just for stargazing. There's no lights or anything up there for you to, to you know, what do they call it? Light pollution. So you can't, you, you can see the sky in complete darkness. And I want to go check that out. That would be freaking cool. I remember a few years ago, I was in uh, Del Delton or Gull Lake here. <clears throat> we're out on the back property and we're just staring up at the stars out in the country and you, somebody waved at you no no but you saw all you saw the console console constellations 
Consolation. Consolation. <laughs> you saw all the consolation prizes. <laughs> right. Oh, console. What is it? Constellations. Constellation. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that's cool, too, because you can obviously, well, even on your phone, your phone can do it. Yeah. What you do is you go to your camera. Here, I'll show you. Yeah. So, folks, if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note or Samsung Galaxy whatever, I'm sure a lot of the older ones might do it, but I'm not sure when it started. You can well, look I got that up yourself. 20, so that That's doesn't. new enough. So you go to your camera, and what you do is, whoops, hold on. You go to the night part, and then, uh, hold on, I got to put it up. And then you go to, hold on, not the night, I'm sorry. It's actually... Uh, this one don't have it, actually. That's weird. Huh. Unless I have to turn it on. Let me, uh, let me see your phone. Because yours, this used, maybe I, I think I did something to it to make it come up. But anyways, if you go Zero, two, one. to the camera on your phone, if you have a, Chingao. Uh, thing, babe, what do you, I mean, I don't get what's going on here. I need more. Another chip. No, it's not that. Ay, ay, ay. Let's put this down here and see. So you go to your night spot. And then you hit. Did you update this phone? Not yet. Oh, this don't even have it anymore. Okay. Never mind. Because I think when they updated it, they got rid of it. Oh. So. Basically, what it was is that when you, when you, um, there used to be a thing right here that had, like, pictures of stars. Yeah. You click that, and then you, when you put it up to the phone, or to the sky. Yeah. It'll tell you what constellation you're looking at. Oh. And I think then you I take remember a picture you doing that before. Yeah, they updated and they got. It looks like they got rid of it because it's not even on my newer phone, uh, which is weird because I thought they had that on here. Huh. So yeah, that's weird. It's not on here. Oh wait, maybe it's this one. Nope, that's not it. Can you still get that chip with that in my phone? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, babe. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture because I think I just fixed this phone. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a picture of my show. Look. Have been up there since 2007. Oh. Who's that? JR. Hey, what up, JR? What up, what up? I, honestly, I haven't been up in the Upper Peninsula since the 90s. I haven't I have been no... to the Upper Peninsula yet. You've never been up there? Loser. Yeah. The only reason why we went up there was because we went through there to get to Wisconsin. I went. We went to Pat and Joe's wedding. That was up north. That was the Upper Peninsula. It was. It was Traverse City Traverse, area. Yeah, Traverse City. But that's as far north as I've been. Oh yeah, we do have an eclipse coming up. Good one, Courtney. Excuse me, Deuce. Let's get on that. We do have an eclipse coming up. An eclipse. Oh, that is something yeah. that I'm very interested in, actually. Because supposedly it's supposed to be a good one this year. When? What month? I'm looking at it. Okay. I think it's next month. April 2024 eclipse. April 8th. April 8th. Every oh my God. It's going right past us. I mean. What? It's, we're right in the path of where we can see it. Oh, that's awesome. Right here. Look. It goes right across Holland. I'm, do I'm not. Look at this map. Well, I mean, we could still see it, but it's not across. But it's it's very close to us. So we'll be able to see some of it. If it's not cloudy that day, you know. Look, you know what? How come every time something cool like this happens, it's always cloudy in Holland or it's raining that night? Never fails. Hopefully that night I mean, it's night nice, a nice night. night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's unfair. You know what? 
Exactly. It's supposed to be a once in a lifetime thing, and of course, it's probably going to be raining that day. Okay. So um, let's pray that it doesn't rain that day. Right. Let's the last time I actually remember look or not looking. Oh, once in a lifetime. Courtney. Yeah. The last time I remember watching or being if remembering one. Yeah. Was well, actually two times when we were younger um, at our old house in Holland. Well, here in Holland. I remember looking towards the north. Okay, you know, like you know where we used to live when we were kids. That gray house I always show you. Yes. Okay, so if we look towards the north or south, excuse me, towards that church that I told you about that we used to go play basketball and stuff. I think so. I remember looking towards that church, and you can see the the moon and the eclipse. There's shadow going across. Oh. I remember watching that one. I do remember. Yeah, because we never get anything cool. Uh, but that is the last one that I, I do remember actually watching. Oh, okay. um, there was one that I remember when we were in middle school. Mm -hmm. um, they did that whole thing, you know, you poke a hole through a paper and you could watch oh, another paper. Yeah. Um, and I remember because it was afternoon and it was very dim outside. Like, you could tell there was an eclipse. There was something there, going on. Yes. And so they were all like, don't look at the moon. Don't look up at the sun. Look straight at it. It'll right. burn your eyes. And I looked up at the moon. No, I'm just kidding. No, I didn't do that. But uh, I was inside most of the time anyways. But I remember at East Middle School, uh, if you've been in the middle school lately, you see what it looks like now. But we're going towards the locker or the gym to the left, if you're facing the gym lock doors, mm -hmm. to the left, there used to be a bunch of windows right there. Oh. And so, um, and lockers. I remember standing by those windows, looking up at, I mean, looking outside because it was behind us. Yeah. Looking outside and I'm like, man, that looks really weird outside. There's no clouds. So there's nothing, that, you know, you would think the clouds would be blocking the sun. Right. So it's like, Okay, well, what the heck? Can I f that's when I remembered. Oh, yeah, there's an eclipse outside. Mm -hmm. So that's when I got more into it. And I was like, this is really cool. I would love to see one. See, I put on. Oh, yeah, that's true. I heard you could use those. Mask and looks right at Somebody it. told wow. me that those uh, people do use those. A welding mask. That's, yeah. But I don't know if it's safe enough, but. Hey, it didn't do anything to you, so you're good. Um, yeah, so definitely been been pretty good. But we're gonna go ahead and cut the show to, and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> rewind again. I messed that one up. I put on my pops. Oh. We just read that. Later. <laughs> <laughs> he started reading again. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut the show late, uh, early tonight because we had to go to somewhere and paint. Um, you know what? Just screw it. Everybody already knows about it. Uh, we're going to go to the studio and paint it and uh, make it look nice for our opening when we have it. So, uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody for joining tonight. We appreciate it. We, we love all you guys. We appreciate it. We do also want to say one more shout out to Pure West Compassion Club who has sponsored us throughout throughout the time here they are right here pure west compassion club six or excuse me 97 30 oh, adam street right here in holland they are have given out or been able to get people over fifteen thousand certifications their their med card is only 110 bucks go ahead and go to them they're great people they will help you with whatever you need give a uh, give a give them a call 616-772-9420 get a hold of them and uh yeah so let's have fun i mean they're a good company they're very very respectful and uh yeah so get a hold of them chris bomber martinez is the owner he will help you with whatever you need so all right well everybody i thank you for joining tonight Thank you. You are great people. We love you guys. We we love our sponsors. Um, 
uh, Ninja Express, I hope you come back. You were great people. We respect your your business. Let's get back together. We'll uh, help you guys out. Get your um get your business up and going. Or help you going. You know, help advertise. So, all right. Well, everybody have a good night, and we will see you Friday night. Bye. Here's Tracy McGee. Let's get. I'm sorry, Abe McGee. I'm just kidding. And this is Ben Herrera, and thank you for joining tonight. We will see you Friday night. Do that again. He went on camera when he did it. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. You all have a good night, and we'll see you Friday night. Peace.